it's exaggerated but a lot of people like there's like a good chunk of people that are like leaving that mm -hmm. and they're either going into the mac uh whatever the unknown os is which i guess they're still sorting that out mm -hmm. and then the uh and then linux because linux like i think like a couple weeks ago went from 4.45 to 4.55 Oh, so, I mean, was that's... that on like the OS market share? No, like there's yeah, like... the market share website. Yeah, like those numbers. I, yeah, I, I'm always. Not the exact. <laughs> but you don't really have good numbers. That's the thing, right? Yeah, like that's... you can yeah. you can look at Steam hardware survey. You can look at this, and you can make some like rough estimates. Uh, I I guess you can't really use them to indicate the absolute percentage you can use them to indicate a trend and it seems like yeah. they're trending upwards oh yeah because people are like getting more into it because they're like oh the steam deck can do this because the steam's starting to become more mainstream you're starting to see the steam deck appear in stores now people mm -hmm. can just buy that mm -hmm. um you, you can you can go to gamestop and get it now <laughs> like it's starting oh, to become knows. more of a thing to where valve is like at least in it well inadvertently a, a applying this uh linux environment because i think when they were originally making their steam machines they didn't want to pay windows anyways which is why they made steam os one and two and yeah, yeah. um when they did eventually do that they perfected it in a way with the steam deck i'm surprised they haven't really steam machines with the steam deck on it yet which i feel like is going to happen at some point mm -hmm. it's not going to be alienware branded it's just going to be steam branded because they can do it mm -hmm. so i mean pe more people are going to be more inclined to do that especially when the ps5 is like 700 dollars yeah the ps5 pro is very <laughs> oh that's fucking rough right there <laughs> I think you can buy a Steam, like a the bottom end Steam Deck and a Switch for the same price. Two seventy nine, used or or whenever they have it on sale, which mm -hmm. you can get. You, there's two ways to get a used Switch when they have a sale, mm -hmm. or they also have a separate site where I mean not a Switch but a Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but look, with the Steam Deck, they also have a separate site for refurbished consoles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That includes the older models and the newer models. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good deal, and I suggest like anybody who's wanting to get into Linux, just to play the games if they're into that, mm -hmm. to try that, um, to at least get their foot in the door. And it seems like a lot of people are liking it a lot, because I don't mm -hmm. see too many people like, install Windows on it. Yeah, you have like YouTubers doing it just to show that it can be done. <laughs> I mean, you could technically install MS DOS on it. I mean, <laughs> it is it just takes time to kind of go through that, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I, like most people aren't really using. There's there's certain games that won't work on the Steam Deck, and actually, did you hear something that happened very recently? Like, I think oh. yesterday, uh, GTA Five. They decided to fix the uh, hackers problem in multiplayer by putting in Battle Eye and not enabling the Linux support. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, uh, which means it's probably <laughs> going to happen in GTA 6 as well, which is, uh, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, but 95% uh, of the games don't do that, so uh, Proton DB OP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you pretty much the only <laughs> yes. things you get that don't, like, absolutely don't work are, like, your competitive shooters, which... Oh, yeah. To be fair, I don't exactly want to play something like Warzone, Rainbow Six Siege things like that on a steam deck now obviously games like genshin are a problem and that is something you probably would want to play on it now there are ways you can get it to work that um oh yeah the i know this does not exactly like to know uh -huh. this. Yeah. um but yeah. yes there are, yeah. there are ways it can be done um <laughs> i wish they would enable yeah. proper support but games like fortnite as well like that that's a game that a lot of people play on mobile anyway so yeah. you'd probably want to play it on something like that but if you're not a competitive shooter player, like, most other things are pretty much good at this point. Regarding oh, yeah. the Steam machines, like, the reason why Valve initially made those is that was around the time of Windows 8, where, like, the Microsoft Store was first becoming a thing, and they were kind of worried it would become kind of like uh, the Apple ecosystem, where, you know, on the mobile devices you need to get things through the store and it's very like heavily encouraged to get through uh, things through the store on the desktop as yeah. well and they were kind of worried the same thing would happen on windows and I, I i get why they were worried i'm very happy that valve has been like very heavily invested in linux for a long long time okay. now and it definitely has like a ripple effect because when they started to release their proton 
to like make it better because because before they did have like an early stage at some point i don't even think it was called proton Mm -hmm. but they were like making it and they released it and then you know it started to make stuff like vtubing on linux more possible like after it like started to go down there that Mm -hmm. like in in that in that way Mm -hmm. uh like i'm running like i don't even think i've updated it yet but i'm like running ge proton 9-11 to run vtube studio right now Mm -hmm. i'm using an ip config file to run it through my assets folder and i'm using a face tracker uh flat pack which didn't come out too long ago it's actually been out for maybe a couple months thank goodness i didn't want to like have to go through terminal to do that it just does it automatically and it works how it's intended to mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. really cool 